So there's something that has caught my attention recently. Everybody in the finance community has been panicking recently and saying that the big recession has now arrived. You can see all of these uh, clickbait thumbnails telling you to pack your things because it's over. You know, don't get me wrong, I personally think we're long overdue for a recession, but timing these things has always been the problem. And, you know, the masses usually are wrong about this. As you can see, last time when everybody thought we were going to have a massive recession, we actually ended up uh, going to all-time highs. Granted, the reasoning back then was much more ignorant because uh, people assumed rate hikes would cause a recession, which usually never happens. Instead, the recession usually happens when the delayed impact of the rate hikes finally hits the economy and the Fed has to start cutting rates. Now, we are almost reaching that point of the overall asset cycle and the reason why I'm even mentioning all of this is because we know that there's a correlation between Bitcoin and other assets. It will be very difficult for Bitcoin to rally to new highs in a risk-off market environment where everybody is selling. On the other hand, we can see that the full power law model predicts our next top to be toward the end of the next year. We can see that there is a bit of conflict between these two ideas, so which one is correct? The first option is that these imminent recession fears are overblown and that this will just be another correction before the next leg higher both for the S&P and Bitcoin. Now we know that Bitcoin usually trades at a 2x multiple when compared to the volatility of stocks, so a moderate S&P correction could even theoretically cause a massive crash for Bitcoin before we get to the frenzy bull market phase toward the end of the year. Any low higher than our 15k bottom would still just be a bull market correction, however. As you can see, our power law model theoretically allows for a very large correction from where we currently are without being broken. In this case, the overall asset recession would be delayed at least until after the next uh, bull market top in more than a year. There's some credibility to this idea because it does very often take quite a while for the recession to hit after the Fed starts cutting rates, you know. This would just mean that their bears are too early again and uh, being too early is the same as being wrong in most cases. And uh, the next possibility is that we will have some kind of very fast recession before we go back higher again. This would look something like the mini COVID recession that we had in early 2020 and we could still be synchronized with Bitcoin's typical market cycles. This scenario is very unlikely though, because that example was more of a black swan event. So most importantly, we have to look at the periodicity of Bitcoin cycles as illustrated by our indicators. Our Bitcoin power law chart tells us the current BTC time, uh, which is 747. And this means that we're almost perfectly halfway between the transition from bear to bull at 6 o'clock and the start of the frenzy phase of the bull market at 9 o'clock. We're starting to run out of time, so Bitcoin really needs to make up its mind and choose what it wants to do for the remainder of this phase. We do currently have a pattern of uh, lower highs and lower lows, but Bitcoin hasn't really dropped much so far, as you can see. And the longer we stay around these levels, the less time Bitcoin will have to drop a lot, before continuing on to the frenzy bull market phase. Unless, of course, Bitcoin uh, decides to pull off some crazy stunt like the 50% crash in a single day, like during the 2020 COVID crash. I personally would love to get a steeper correction, and it currently looks like we might be finally getting it. For that, Bitcoin needs to take out the low at uh, 54k or so. When looking at the detrended oscillator, which shows deviations from the trends, we recently reached very frothy levels, as indicated by the red color coding. The last time we reached these levels was when we first got the fake bull market top, and the one before that was during the 14k mini bubble, which has a lot of similarities to the current picture. When looking at the local Hearst exponent, we reach dark orange, but not quite red levels. Nonetheless, uh, you know, this is a very typical retracement point and we might be returning to the mean now. 
as you can see, it is pretty much exactly the same level where we dropped from the 14K mini bubble. And uh, the Bitcoin power law bands also agree on a potentially very strong resistance area as indicated by the rejection from the dividing line between the more euphoric and the bearish phases of the cycle. So if we were to drop lower, we will be using this opportunity to load up for the next top at around 220k or so. We will have a much more accurate assessment of where the next top will be uh, once we get closer to it, and we will use our indicators to create a sell signal. But it's good to already have a good low resolution approximation so we can stay level headed once we get there. So in conclusion, we obviously expect the cyclical nature of Bitcoin to continue what it has been doing so far, unless proven otherwise. We're still perfectly on track to the next market cycle high, you just have to be patient and weather any potential chop or even a storm here if necessary. Have the bigger picture in mind and uh, make a strategy that works for you instead of relying on emotions. By the way guys, check out these incredible Lux Algo indicators that we're using in our market updates. Since we want to make our indicators as affordable and accessible as possible, we'll be lowering the price to just $30 a month from tomorrow with a further 30% discount if you choose the yearly subscription option, which would equate to just $21 a month or so. In addition, you will get a special Lux Algo membership rank in our telegram group and be listed in the end credits of our videos if you wish. If you're still wondering whether or not to subscribe to our Lux Algo indicators, you can also join our telegram group for free because we want to give back to the community and have a great discussion with all of you. As you can see, we post all kinds of content in our Lux Algo group, such as trading view market updates, memes, news, and price discussion. Just send me a PM on X and I will add you to the group. This is Saverio Mighty speaking and as always, thanks for watching.